Hey, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to Ask That Podcast on YouTube. Oh man, comic trades. Comic trades, comic trades, comic trades. This is the death defying devil from Dynamite, Alex Ross, Joe Casey, Edgar Salazar. Alright, what this is, is... I don't know how much Alex Ross had to do with this besides resign the characters. I've heard he had a little writing. They decided, Dynamite decided, hey, there's all these public domain heroes, and people have tried this before. All these public domain heroes, let's make them their own universe. Nobody owns them. You know, they got a little bit of, you know, people have heard of some of them. You know, and make a couple of series out of it. And they start with this Project Superpowers. What it was is at the end of World War II, the Fighting Yank, it ran around with Pandora's Box, which is actually an urn, and sucked all the heroes into it. He had to return hope to Pandora's Box and it would uh, help free the world. From the tyranny that was going on. Well, they get released in modern era and shit just goes crazy. Okay, this is Death Defined Daredevil, who was known as Daredevil back in the day, but Marvel owns that name now. They don't own this character, so. He goes around this red blue suit and throws a boomerang. He has like little skit sidekicks. Now, this is, of course, as you can see, an ex library copy. I got this extremely cheap off of Amazon. No, 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 not Amazon. This came in uh, my comic shop. It's rated teen superhero. More exciting Project Superpowers comics featuring the greatest hero of ages from Alex Ross and Dynamite. Joining Project Superpowers mastermind Alex Ross for the four-issue Death Defying Dale Devil series are writer Joe Casey and artist Edgar Salazar spinning out the events of Project Superpowers Chapter 1 and Bridging the Gap for the debut of Project Superpowers Chapter 2. The mysterious devil is put on the case to track down the organization known as the Claw. Traveling with, a mis with the equally mysterious Justine, the devil is also shadowed by a new character who may very well hold the answers to the devil's strange existence and new clues to the nature of the urn which imprison all our heroes. But is the dragon friend or foe? Also featuring the modern day return of Silver Streak and the Ghost, icons from the Golden Age of Comics. Now, it's a story they did uh, quite a few of these little miniseries from Chapter 1 to Chapter 2. And then they didn't do shit with this property in that universe for years. He just recently brought it back. Because there's two spinoffs. There's a... Was it Black Cross? That was... Warren Ellis. Mark Millar. One of those guys did it. It was pretty good. It was weird, but pretty good. And then there was the Hero Killers, which I've not read. I hadn't read this before I got this. And I sat down uh, back... In February. Nice art. Our, uh, it, we got snowed in. Like It snowed enough. And it stayed cold enough where... We could not safely leave our property for three or four days like it happened on a sunday monday and it was the following friday before we left and even then it was just like oh you're taking a little bit of a risk and of course you got alex ross doing the covers gorgeous art i mean just look at this artwork that's the green llama he's been around forever and uh, the devil just seems to fight like terrorists and stuff it doesn't speak. And there's the opposite one. The dragon. Well, they're really cool art. It's only four issues. It's a fairly thin trade. I read it like one day I sat down. When it was cold, I, we don't run our heat that much. Like That was the only time I've ever seen us run our heat at night because it was that cold. But during the day, we had a fire going in the fireplace. So. Matter of fact, we took turns. We would go out and refill the fire bucket. The, the fire, the wood box, the fire bucket. There's Silver Street. Yeah, decent art, a lot of fight scenes. It read fairly fast. This is one of those where if I paid full price, just trade it by kind of man because it's read extremely fast. But I paid, you know, three, four bucks. And the heroes are basically taking over, was it New York, I think it is? Yeah, I think it's New York. The ghost, I love the ghost. The plane. Look at that. It's a cool little book. And I'm sure this is one of those where a lot of this Project Superhero shit, you, if you look online and through comic shops, cheap bins, you can find almost all the issues for a buck a piece. Which honestly, a lot of times, is cheaper than getting trades of the trades. Most people are going to want you know, about 10 for a trade. Unless you get one of the next library like this, got the stickers on it and shit, but I don't care. It reads. It don't look bad on the shelf. 
John Romita the scene. You know, it's all the different coaches. John Cassidy, Edgar Salazar, Alex Ross, George Tusca, John Cassidy, Edgar Salazar, John Cassidy, St Steven S Segoiva. A lot of them. Okay. Also. Oh, it's a free comic book day story. Okay, I was going to say, what the hell? I forgot about that. And there's the code. That's, that's John Romita. Some, like I said, some good art in this. I love that cover. That old school cover right there. And then, of course, you always get Alex Ross's sketches in there. I'll get down like this. Their stuff costs a little more, but in their trades, they usually give you a lot of extras. <laughs> yeah, cool little trade, yeah. Look around, like I said, don't pay. Well, this thing's what? I do not see a price on it anywhere. Oh, $14.95. Don't pay $15. Bucks. Yeah. If you've never checked out the Project Superpower stuff and it just looked interesting to you, look around. You can find this for 5 or $6, probably. So, yeah. Go check it out. Hope you enjoyed that. Remember, if you did, give me that thumbs up. Leave a comment, subscribe, all the other bullshit. Talk to everybody later. Bye-bye.